Welcome to Ask a Lawyer with attorney Joey Franks at the Franks Law Firm in Ridgeland, Mississippi. Each week, Joey answers your questions about the law and how it affects you. What if I have more than one DUI offense? Well, they will stack up against you and the penalties become more and more severe with each each offense. You have a, your standard DUI first offense, which carries a minimum 48 hours in jail and up to a $1,000 fine. You go to the DUI second offense, the fine increases, and the jail time increases up to a week. But you're still in the misdemeanor category. Once you get to a DUI third offense and beyond, you're in the, the felony category. You're going to go to parchment for, for those kind of charges. And it is an extremely serious situation. And I highly recommend it somebody, if they have multiple DUIs, especially if they're close together, then you need to get a, preferably the same DUI attorney on all three of them or however many you have so they can go ahead and address them and work on them. And sometimes we have little tricks in our, our bags that we can pull that can get us around some of the, the, the issues when it comes to stacking with DUIs. And that's just a case-by-case -case basis, and sometimes it's just pure luck when we can pull it off. And other times, the, the clients got us involved early, we've discussed everything with them, and it is a great strategy, and we can work it out to their tremendous advantage. And um, worst-case scenario, if you are charged with a DUI third or subsequent offense, then you could potentially be looking at a jury trial and looking at years in prison. So it's imperative that you get a defense attorney, criminal defense attorney involved in that matter, specifically a DUI defense attorney. So with with that being said, can can you help me keep my license and, and how do you do that? Actually, we try helping clients keep their license from day one. Uh, the state has, they will give you a, a piece of paper that is a temporary license good for 30 days when you're arrested. They generally take your license and give you that license. And it's, I always tell clients, you need to get an attorney involved immediately because the sooner I get involved, the sooner I can enter an appearance on the file, the sooner I can start asking the court to either set this matter for trial within 30 days or alternatively extend my client's license privileges until a time that the court can hear it. If you do not request that, then there's a chance that they could go and send it to the Department of Public Safety and you could lose your license. So from day one, we're fighting to keep our clients licensed. And second, there's always the option of the interlock restricted license that comes up if someone decides to go the non-adjudication route. And what that is, is you put essentially a small portable breathalyzer in your automobile. It becomes hardwired to it. You pay a monthly fee for it. And every time you want to crank that vehicle, you have to blow into it and you have to blow a 0.00, .00 blood alcohol content. And at the end of a period of time, you show the court that you did not try cranking an automobile with alcohol on your breath, and the court will will not adjudicate everything. Uh, they'll enter the final order, and it's like it never happened almost. But on the head end, the key to that is, though, is you actually have to plead guilty to a DUI to go the non-adjudication route, and the court just withholds adjudication. So that's... Uh, one of the more common ways, other than outright trying a DUI and being successful, that we manage to keep our clients' licenses uh, for the long duration. And even in the event an individual is found guilty at their initial trial in Mississippi, you have the right to appeal up to the county court level or the circuit court in the counties where there is no county court. And you get a whole new trial. And while you're doing your appeals, all penalties are stayed against you, which means that it's not reported to the Department of Public Safety and you keep your license throughout the appeal until we are successful. Okay, so I, I've been picked up for a DUI. Uh, am I going to sit in jail for a long time? Uh, unfortunately, you are likely going to spend a few hours in jail at minimum. Under no case should you spend more than 48 hours in jail because that's the absolute maximum if you are found guilty. For a DUI first offense, you can stay in jail. Now, subsequent offenses, you're, you're looking at more jail time potentially on the, on the tail end if you're found guilty. But generally speaking, from the time you're picked up to the time you bond out or you're released on your own recognizance, 
You may see ROR on some documents, and that's what that means, released on your own recognizance. You're going to spend between booking and bonding and probably a minimum of three hours in jail. Uh, some people can squeak it out in two hours if things just line up. Generally speaking, most people don't spend more than eight hours in jail, if that. Probably the average is somewhere four to five hours. Thanks for listening to Ask a Lawyer with attorney Joey Franks at the Franks Law Firm in Ridgeland, Mississippi. Call attorney Franks for a free consultation at 601-773-7777. His website is thefrankslawfirm.com.